The video game industry churns out a lot of product each year. Most of it gets released, but some titles never make it to store shelves. A lot of high-profile, eagerly anticipated games don't get finished. The following ones, by most accounts, were ready to go until they were pulled at the last minute. Silent Hills Planned as the ninth installment in the Silent Hill series, Silent Hills was developed by Hideo Kojima for PlayStation 4 in collaboration with Guillermo del Toro. American actor Norman Reedus of The Walking Dead was brought on board as a voice actor and to serve as the model for the game's main protagonist. In 2014, a demo of the game was released on the PlayStation Network, which was reportedly downloaded over a million times. It looked promising and genuinely spooky. <laughs> Despite its popularity, the Silent Hills project ultimately failed, though no real fault of its own. Kojima and Konami had a very public breakup in early 2015, with Kojima leaving the company following the completion of Metal Gear Solid V. Ultimately, this proved to be the end of the Silent Hills project, with Konami confirming its cancellation later that spring. Final Fantasy Fortress in 2008, development began on an action role-playing game named Fortress that was envisioned as a spin-off of Final Fantasy XII. Set a few years after the events of Revenant Wings, the plot revolved around a magical fortress intended to defend the realm from a mythical sea king. Development studio Grin worked on this game for several months, but reportedly didn't receive positive feedback from publisher Square Enix, or, allegedly, any payment for their development of the game. Grin ultimately shut down in 2009 and filed for bankruptcy, and the project was suspended for good by 2011. Star Wars Battlefront 3 In 2006, Free Radical Design announced it would develop a third entry in the extremely popular Star Wars Battlefront series, and LucasArts soon confirmed it. But after two years of development, Free Radical unexpectedly announced it had lost the rights to Battlefront 3, even though the game was almost completely finished. So what happened? This was around the same time George Lucas sold the entire Star Wars operation to Disney, and LucasArts pulled the plug because the company didn't want to pour any more money into it. After the buyout, Disney closed the games division of LucasArts and absorbed it into its own gaming sectors. Star Wars 1313 this was another game in development at LucasArts when Disney bought the company. Announced in 2012, Star Wars 1313's gameplay had even broadcast on Spike TV, and the story was supposed to have revolved around a young Boba Fett. However, Disney canceled the game outright. The trademark for Star Wars 1313 has officially lapsed, and Boba Fett's solo story has pretty much crashed and burned. StarCraft Ghost now existing only in the form of a novel, StarCraft Ghost was to bring the StarCraft franchise into third-person shooter territory. Announced in 2002, the game was delayed repeatedly, with Blizzard saying it was investigating newer consoles. The game would have starred Nova, one of the characters from the StarCraft series, who would have used a variety of tools to sneak around levels and eliminate threats. Blizzard released gameplay screens and cinematics, but officially announced the game's cancellation. Now the game is more of a ghost than ever. On the bright side, at least we won't have to build any more pylons. Mega Man Universe like Super Mario Maker, Mega Man Universe was supposed to allow users to create new levels from a library of pre-existing game elements and characters and share them online. If you thought the original Mega Man games were difficult, imagine playing levels created by sadistic sociopaths who were forever damaged by the robot dragon guarding Dr. Wily's castle and Mega Man 2. Mega Man Universe was actually so close to being completed that advanced copies were sent to critics for review, but after some negative feedback, Capcom delayed the release and the temporary delay turned into a an indefinite one. Prey 2 we're still mourning Prey 2, a game that was being developed by Human Head Studios and was to be published by Bethesda before being cancelled. The game, announced in March 2011, was supposed to star U.S. Marshal Killian Samuels and follow his adventures as a bounty hunter on a world called Exodus. Bethesda still wants to do something with the franchise, but we won't be seeing the fruits of Human Head Studios' labor. Project Titan File this under another one of Blizzard Entertainment's cancelled games. Project Titan was supposed to be a huge MMORPG in which players would take on mundane jobs during the day and then be called to action to fight for one of three warring factions at night. The game was ultimately cancelled, but it's been reported that a few of the assets made it into Overwatch, Blizzard's first-person shooter. In fact, there are enough similarities between both games that one could consider Titan to be a sort of Overwatch prototype. LMNO 
Announced by Electronic Arts in 2005, LMNO was notable for the involvement of Steven Spielberg, whose goal was to design an interactive movie capable of making the player feel stuff other than the desire to headshot opponents. A team-up RPG with a super-powered alien lady NPC, LMNO saw its team laid off in 2008 under undisclosed circumstances, though developers have hinted that Mirror's Edge, also in development at EA, was just a bit too similar, and LMNO lost the battle between the two. At least we still have Steven Spielberg's boom blocks. Insane Conceptualized by film director Guillermo del Toro, Insane was to be a survival horror video game, and the first installment in what was to be a trilogy of Insane games was scheduled to be released in 2013. Insane was announced in 2010, and del Toro was initially very enthusiastic about the games, saying, With this new series of video games, I want to take players to a place they have never seen before, where every single action makes them question their own sense of morality and reality. After financial issues and the departure of THQ's vice president of core games, Danny Bilson, THQ announced the cancellation of the game in 2012. Legacy of Kane, Dead Son Another cancelled Square Enix project, Legacy of Kane, Dead Son was meant to be a spiritual successor of 1999's Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. Although with few links to past Legacy of Kane canon, it was essentially meant to be a reboot of the series. The game was to feature an open-world adventuring format, as well as a violent combat system, dungeons, boss encounters, and puzzles. In 2009, Climax Studios was brought on board to start production on Legacy. Rumors of the game's development started to swirl in 2011, when a survey was circulated to determine fans preference for the name of a proposed new Legacy of Kane game. For unknown reasons, Square Enix cancelled the title in 2012 after much of the concept artwork and pre-production work was done. Thanks for watching. Click the SVG icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.